Hello everyone. So this is a scene from the game Monument Valley. So here you can see this platform is above the player level at the moment but when we rotate it, it looks like that's in the same level as the player. Here is the demonstration. So if you rotate it, it's in the same level. So player can work on it. So something like this is called an isometric illusion. This is what we are going to replicate in Unreal Engine today. How to create the same isometric illusion that we see here inside Unreal Engine. Okay, so to get this started, let me just drag and drop a cube and place it in the 0, 0, 0 location. I don't need the flow, so let me remove that and let me reduce the intensity of the directional light so that we can see the edges clearly. Right, so we first need to have an L shape mesh. So, I'll make this longer 5 in one side and let me go to the top view. Okay, this warning, I don't think that would be an issue. Uh, oh wait, let's go to unlit mode. Yeah, it's better. Okay, now to have an L shape, let me rotate this with Alt pressed. Ninety degrees. And move it to this edge, but this side is longer, so I'll make it size 4 right right now if I switch to the perspective mode it's this way I think we need it here yeah okay so we have this section now so we need this section and this part and this part right so let me select this and press hold and move right then press e and rotate mm. like this Okay, now we have this part and this part. So let me just select this and duplicate move. Now we have that section also a bit longer. And next, this section. So Again, go back to the top view, press Alt, move, ok, rotate, hundred and eighty degrees and Move to fit here, switch to perspective and rotate 90 degrees. Okay, now we do have this part. So, right, but it doesn't look like what we need still. So, here I am going to add a camera. Um, we can't 
get this illusion in perspective mode we need to have an isometric or orthographic camera here so let's add a camera actor and I think it needs to have an angle like this and we need to make this wait let me switch to that camera okay oh, now we can right click and move let me reset the rotation minus 30 and this Minus 60. Okay. Now, if I switch to orthography, this is how it looks. So, we can't move the camera anymore. But we can increase the auto width. Right. Make it lit. So, this is the way it looks now. Right. Uh, now, this L shape. Let me create a blueprint from this just an actor blueprint uh, I think we use this should use this house component I'll name it BPL path to B Right now, here is the blueprint. Uh, this should be more to wait. Yes, go to the perspective mode. Oh, right here is the origin. That should be fine. Okay, now here we have a single actor. Uh, let me switch things. And get some space. Here I'll switch to the camera. I'll name it Auto Camera. And then here I'll change to perspective mode. So this BPL, I'll press Alt and rotate it 90 degrees like this. And in order to match it to here, let me move it. It should overlap here. Right. Then come here. Then move up. Okay, let me move the auto camera be like this so we can move this uh, scene into the middle. Here we have a gap. Alright. Now to match this section with this part, what we can do is let me move it back. Uh, 
until we align this line these edges uh, to see things clearly maybe we should zoom in this a bit yeah this looks like a single line now which is exactly what we need okay so then we need to move this section to the this way not clear enough yeah it's not overlapping correctly right now it's correct okay now we need this part we need to make it longer If I uh, hide this L2, it's like this, and if I hide this one, uh, BPL, it looks like this. So I think we have done the hard part. Now to dynamically do the switching and testing, test it, let me open. Mm. The level blueprint. Yeah, I had a custom event. Oh, well, not really need a custom event. We can use the begin play. We can get two references. Uh, and L. By the way, I have saved the level. So, let's have a delay. Two seconds before doing any transition. Then, we can access the root component file to Here we can get that uh, okay to transform split so that we can access both location and rotation. So even if I get root component and from here, even if I get root component and get the word transform, this would be same because root is root transform is same as actor transform uh, the only reason I use root component here is so that I can use this move component to function in five seconds scene is out right so by the way this should be invisible so just hiding it here wouldn't be enough Hidden in game, we need to enable that. Uh, okay, now if I simulate this, uh, here nothing happened. Oh, we need to enable the game view. It. 
Oh, let me just. Ah, we are still in editor, so not a problem. See now to see that go back and forth. Uh, wait. You don't really need to see these. Here, let me initially let me get actor transform and save it. I'll just call it init initial transfer and then have a delay of four seconds and again Move this component back to original transform, which is this split and I have some more delay four seconds should be enough to reload mode. back here all right let's go full screen and see Okay, uh, make sure enable this force rotation path, force shoulders rotation path, otherwise it looks a bit odd when it rotates. So here is the demonstration again. Okay, so thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.